Welcome back survivors. I see you're looking for mods. Well, today I'm giving you 30 mods that I've compiled from previous videos that I have made so far. Make sure you watch to the end because I have a wide variety for you today. The spray paint mod. This mod allows you to spray graffiti all over those Kentucky streets, similar to how you can paint graffiti on walls with normal paint. This mod gives you so many options in the game, especially in multiplayer if you want to direct players to your rising community with these fantastic little spray painted arrows. You could alternatively spray paint help us on the roof of the mall if you wanted as well. Eventually, you might be dealing with a situation where there is a ton of zombies on the second floor of your base. If you want to remove these zombies in the base game, it would mean lugging each corpse down the stairs to a new location. But with the Just Throw Them Out of the Window mod, you can do just that with a new option when you right click a window while carrying a dead zombie. This may not be the most respectful way to dispose of their corpses, but it gets the job done fast and easy. Saf's Cooking This is another mod that I can't live without anymore. Saf has added hundreds of new items, recipes, drinks, and even weapons. Saf added so many new things that they even had to make a wiki for the mod. Like check this out, here's a screenshot of some of the items. This mod breathes new life into the cooking skill and allows you to spice things up a little bit if you are the chef in your new community. Just don't add bleach to the sushi or casserole, please. The 10 Years Later mod. This mod revamps the entire map and makes it way more rundown, more spooky even. Every last inch of Kentucky has changed in this mod and it makes cars incredibly difficult to use without first having to clear out the roads again, of course. This mod drops you into the apocalypse 10 years after man first got poisoned by that tainted Spiffo's burger. This next mod is perfect for newer and more advanced players alike. Pillows Random Spawns This mod is perfect for players that want to learn the map or even mix up the starting spawn locations for a bit of excitement. Pillows mod adds in over 2,000 more spawn locations all across the Knox area, with some of them even being in Louisville. You can disable the Louisville spawns in the settings. This is the perfect mod for doing quick zomboid runs to practice fighting, looting, and even building skills. This one helped me learn a lot about the game when I was doing the One Painful Year challenge a few years back on Twitch. The Weapon Condition Indicator mod is one that adds a durability bar for all the tools and weapons in the game. Along with this, it also adds an ammo bar in the top left to let you know how much ammo you have and when you run out in the game. I highly recommend downloading this mod as you never want to be stuck in a situation where you have a weapon that is about to break while fighting zombies. The Simple Status mod is another that a lot of people still ask me about, so I might as well make a video about it. This mod adds in a customizable bar that you can move around and customize with different player statistics. A few of these statistics that this mod allows you to see are the tiredness, calories, exertion, stress, boredom, hunger, thirst, and even unhappiness levels. This will help out the new and old players. Are you enjoying this video so far? Why not leave a comment what your favorite mods are, and why not subscribe and like while you're at it. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers by April, so every subscription helps. Spiff UI Radials, or as the creator likes to call it, Spiffy Radials. This mod adds a new radial into the game. It makes interactions easier with objects that are in your inventory, such as cigarettes, water bottles, food, and more. Spiffy Radials also adds in interactions for crafting, medical crafting, equipment, drinking, eating, medical items such as those beta blockers, repairing items, turning off alarms, and managing game speeds for single player only. The creator of this mod also mentions that the items will return to where they were in your inventory after as well. So I guess this means no more moving the lighter back into your bum bag after lighting up a quick smoke. Canteens and Bottles. This is a mod that I can't really live without now. It adds such a wide variety of different bottles that you can keep yourself quenched with. Vanilla has plenty of bottles you can use, but this just adds in more variety in sizes and shapes. In Build 42, we apparently won't need this one anymore, but we thank the creator, Greb, for keeping us watered for the years leading up to it. If you are one of the people that enjoy survivalist playthroughs, or you want to give it a try, and find the new forging system to be kind of lame, like I do, this mod doubles the amount of loot that you can find while forging, so it actually makes the skill and the survivalist playthrough actually possible to survive with. 
Nepenthes Colored Engine Status. This mod will change the color of your engine icon on your dashboard to correlate with the engine status on the car. For example, if you have just rammed straight into a tree going 60 miles per hour without a hood, this icon would change from the bright happy green to an angry red. A mod that pairs well with the previous one is Nepenthes Colored Battery Status. Like his previous mod, this changes the batteries icon on the car's dashboard so that you can quickly see the status of the battery's charge level without having to open up the hood of the car. Just jam that key into the ignition, turn it on, and you will see the status of the battery. It's a double whammy. Britta's Armor and Weapons Pack. These mods revamp the old boring limited guns from vanilla PZ and revamps them into a ton of customizable options. From grandpa's old revolver to the M16, all the guns have been revamped and you might even be able to fit a silencer on some of them. Britta's armor adds in tons of different armor options so you can stay safe and fashionable in this apocalypse. Sorting items can often be a pain in Project Zomboid, especially so for the newer players. This mod adds in a ton of much needed item tags to various items that you can find in the game, and it better labels them by their purpose. For example, instead of labeling a beer can as food, this mod labels it as food-beverage. So you will no longer get confused between beer cans and cobs of corn, for example. Agrot Star Farming Company. If you are tired of the backbreaking work out in your fields, then here's the answer for you. This mod adds in tractors and various farm implements to help you grow enough food for your entire community and or town. This mod comes with a couple different tractors, a plow, and a seeder to help you out. Unfortunately, at this time, there are no sprayers or easy ways of watering with this mod, so you will still have to water those by hand for the time being or find a different mod. Farm Sim anyone? This mod is also paired really well with the Irrigation Pipes for Farming mod. This mod supports multiple languages and adds in small pipes that you can set up for your farming areas so that your little green friends can grow big and strong, so that you can spend your time better elsewhere in other areas of your survival such as forging for nuts and berries, or even looting for example. I haven't played with this mod yet as it was a suggestion from a viewer, but I should really give this one a try in the future. This one, I have a double whammy for you. Autosar trailers and RV interiors. These mods are an amazing addition to the world of Zomboid, especially if you want to do a nomadic style run in the future. Autosar trailers adds in several different types of trailers, some of which that add utility. Others are just cosmetic, like the advertisement banner trailer. Some of the trailers added are campers, flatbeds, small tank trailers, and car haulers. The RV Interiors mod adds in RV interiors for bigger RV trailers and motorhome mods out there. And it really spices up the game if you are getting tired of basing in the same impenetrable location all the time. These two mods combined really help in making the world of Project Zomboid feel more alive and full. The W900 Semi-Truck and Semi-Trailer mod. I have found this mod so useful for storing massive amounts of fuel and loot in when I'm going on big looting runs. This truck comes in three styles, the box truck, the day cab, and the night cab. The Bobcat model trucks can be hitched to any trailer, so you don't necessarily need one of the gooseneck trailers that are also added. These trucks can also be upgraded with bull bars so it's more durable against the wandering hordes. I think you can also fill the tanker with water, so in the more rural areas you could really truck in a lot of water by using one of these big rigs. Moodles can be quite the enigma for beginner players in Project Zomboid. The Plain Moodles mod helps out with this a little bit by adding a little level indicator along the side of the base Moodle image so that you can better differentiate between the different levels. I could see how this one would even be beneficial to those colorblind players as well. This mod is also compatible with multiplayer and is safe to enable or disable with pre-existing save files. The Autosar Tuning Atelier Bus Mod. This mod adds in several different bus designs, including a school bus, prison transport, and an army bus. This also adds in several different ways you can customize and tune them to your preferences. Have you ever wanted a vehicle with a giant snowplow with sharp spikes on it? Or one of those train bull bar thingies? Then this is the mod for you. It also comes with optional armored doors, protective window grills, a roof mounted toolbox, and a few different types of bull bars. It even has a roof rack where you can hold even more items than the bus can in the trunk. 
an exhilaratingly organized literature mod. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, this one will help you out on your looting runs a ton. Have you ever found that you've had a million of the same book? This mod changes the book's names to help you remember the volumes you already have, so you won't have that issue anymore. It also adds a gold star to the volumes so that you know you already have that volume, provided you right-click it and mark it as such. This mod also changes up the book icons with four different choices that you can choose from. So this is a great one for everybody. Another mod that I always use is the fuel side indicator mod. Have you ever pulled up to the gas station guessing the side of the gas flap? Well, with this mod you will no longer have to do this as it adds a nice little arrow that points to the direction of your gas flap on your vehicle dashboard UI. Here's a serious question. Have you ever dreamed of sailing the Ohio River? Well, this mod will allow you to achieve that dream. It adds in several different kinds of boats, from giant luxury yachts to smaller speed boats. There's even a sailboat. These boats can be found along the shores and at many of the docks scattered alongside the Ohio River. The yacht even has a bed and storage on board, and the mod even adds in a boat trailer so you can transport it to a lake if you want a more inland floating mobile base. Just make sure you have your swimming gear on before you swim out onto the boat, because you may drown otherwise. The Combat Text Mod. This one adds a little damage indicator and a health bar above zombies that you have damaged. The text shows how much damage you are doing to those little guys by adding a number when you hit them. This is a great reminder to take a break from the fighting when you are getting tired or a little bit winded so you can see that you are doing less damage than you should be doing. This one is excellent for helping the beginner player learn the Moodles quicker, and it will help you decide which ones to take out first to shrink the zombie ball a bit when they are getting a bit much. As a bonus for this ranking, I will also toss in the Vehicle Light Chime mod. If you are like me, you are always forgetting your headlights on and draining your battery down to nothing. This mod adds in a little vehicle chime if the engine is off with the headlights still on, as a little reminder to shut your headlights off. Save on batteries by installing this mod. This mod adds in a fairly rare magazine that you must find first before you can construct the battery bank rack, although you can occasionally find this in garden sheds. You need a fairly high electrical skill, so I guess this mod kind of makes that skill useful. To craft the battery bank, you need electrical skill level 4 to create it. There's an extensive wiki for this mod listed on their page, so make sure you check that out and read it so you can figure out how big of a setup you need to use in your case. This mod also allows you to customize the solar efficiency level. The default for this is the modern 25%, but the realistic choice for this if you want it, for the 1990s level of solar technology, it would be 12%. This does massively impact the amount of solar panels you will need to go out and find however, and they aren't the easiest to find. It is 1993 after all. Have you ever needed to clear out a large area of trees for a future base design? The Super Bulldozer mod can fix this. This bulldozer can plow through almost anything you could possibly throw at it. This mod is an absolute necessity when you are playing with the 10 years later mod. It makes out clearing the roads again so much easier. Once you reach a certain speed, the zombies can also be plowed over in seconds. The mod creator also mentions that some of the parts of the bulldozer are are also indestructible, which kind of makes sense, as this thing is pretty much a tank. Eris Food Expiry. This one is a relatively simple mod that adds a convenient timer for how long different foods have until they become stale or even rotten. This mod may be a bit cheaty for some players, so it may not be for everyone, but you can change the settings so this mod only shows if you have the nutritionist trait if you want it to feel a bit less cheaty. As a bonus for those who stayed to the very end, I thought it would be a bit unfair to rank my own mod in the list, so I thought I'd add it as an honorable mention. The Mow Crops mod. It adds a bunch of more growable crops such as watermelons, cucumbers, zucchinis, eggplants, carrots, and more. Thanks for joining me. They're my top 30 picks for mods in Project Zomboid. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a comment about what your favorite mod is and subscribe for more Project Zomboid content. Until next time, keep surviving.